Back in Unreal, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to delete the MetaHuman and the char folder that we made earlier for our DCC uh, export. We don't need any of this stuff anymore. That stuff is now super redundant. So I'm just going to delete that stuff. Delete two folders. Goodbye. Yes. Okie dokie. Now that that's all deleted and cleaned up, we are going to go into our contents folder and we're going to create a new folder. New folder. We're going to call this guy just simply a gorilla. And in a gorilla, we're going to create another new folder. This one's going to be called mesh and another folder called textures. Uh, in here we're going to drop our uh, our body mesh with the uh, adjusted arms, the head mesh um, oh and that's it, that's all we need. We need our body mesh and our head, head mesh in here, just uh, import, defaults are fine. Let that happen. And all I did was I just drag and dropped them from the uh, from, a, from the folder into the mesh directory. And there we have it. I can double click on them and inspect. Whoop. Turn down the uh, speed on my camera so it doesn't zip away from me so much. So there is our MetaHuman MetaGorilla head mesh. Very exciting. And here is our MetaGorilla. Again, turn my speed down on my camera. MetaGorilla body mesh with the head. And I'll show you why this is important very shortly. Uh, but you can see the texture mapping or the UV mapping looks like it's working well with the grid. Very cool. Uh, then we're going to go back to our textures folder and I'm going to import the uh, head and the body texture that I exported from Faceform Wrap during um, that process there. So there's my face mesh and there's my body, oh sorry, my face texture and my body texture. I'm just going to hit save just in case we get a crash. Uh, it has been known to happen. 